Hi, amazing creatives. Thank you all for being here. And I am excited to show you guys this easy steps. Okay, so this easy steps and process is what I followed in creating a corset pattern for myself from scratch. Okay, so I have gone ahead to make this video as easy and simple as I can so that the beginners can watch follow along and create a pattern for yourself and also understand the process it takes in creating a corset pattern now if you're new here go ahead and subscribe and also don't forget to like this video so this is the steps i will be following first of all i'm going to create a basic bodice and secondly i will adjust that basic bodice into a corset pattern i'm going to adjust for the front pattern and then i'll create my back pattern now i want you guys to see the three that i'll be applying to my basic bodice i'm going to apply the waist that and i'll apply the bust that and also apply the shoulder that to my basic bodice to get my corset pattern so go ahead and look at the pictures of where these that are located because we're going to be applying this on the basic bodice okay now the width of my pattern paper i went ahead to divide my round bust by four and i added four inches extra allowance to that and as for the length i placed the tape from my shoulder down to the point where i want my top to stop and that was the length for me so go ahead and get your supplies and measurements ready and let's dive into the pattern drafting this video is sponsored by handy sim Handy Sim is a simple, easy to use tailoring business app that helps the tailor business keep organized. Okay, so it also helps manage and grow your business effectively, new or old, no one is left out. Now, Handy Sim is a one in all tools for all fashion designers and tailors. Now, let me show you guys what I mean. Handy Sim helps manage the tailoring business from the customer's contact information to the customer's measurements which you can update at any time okay so if your clients or your customers gain or loses weight you can update this on handy sim anytime any day and also handy sim helps manage the customer's order and you can also upload a picture of the style that your customers has ordered you can upload that picture alongside their project okay now this tailoring app has been designed to make your business process very organized and transparent you can even view and manage the histories of orders placed by customers you can track your inventory details you can also manage your staffs on this handy thing and you can also manage your expenses and payment okay so there is something i recently saw online about tailoring business okay and it says the ability for you to get new customers and retain the old one all depends on how you are handling them their clothes their information and their orders now to me for you to be able to grow effectively for you to have that easy process and for you to be able to keep track of everything that your business is doing is for you to just register on hand sim and right now i have the link on my description box below so if you want to register click on that link and start enjoying all the tools that handy sim has to offer and start growing your business effectively okay now on the cutting table here i have my pattern paper here and the first thing i'm going to do is rule a starting line and I'm going to be using a pen for this because I want to be able to clean if I make a mistake. So if you're a beginner, please get the pen and a cleaner. And once you're sure, you can go in with your marker. Okay, so get a pen and cleaner and then just keep your marker aside. So this is going to be my starting line and my starting line, my shoulder will be sitting there. So the next thing I'm going to do now is mark my vertical measurement. And the first is going to be the shoulder so here i'm going to go ahead and divide my shoulder measurements by two and mark this on the starting line so this starting line here is the shoulder so i'll go ahead and divide my shoulder measurements by two and you guys the measurements you need are on the screen So once you divide that into two you mark that on your pattern paper from the starting point of your pattern paper you go in and mark that and the next thing you need to do is mark your slope and i'm going to be marking one inch down from that point i just marked i'll mark one inch down and this is going to be for the slope 
now i'm going to mark my neck width first before i connect so the neck width i'll be using is 3.5 inches and i'll be marking this from the starting of my pattern paper here i'll go in by 3.5 and this is going to be my neck width now I'll go ahead and connect the neck width to the slope like this this is the slope okay i'm going ahead to label all so you don't get confused The next thing we're going to do is divide the round armhole by two and mark this down from the slope okay so you divide your round armhole by two mark this down from the slope now what we are doing right now in case you don't know we're drafting out the basic bodies and once we are done we're going to start adjusting to get the corset pattern so pay really good attention to what i'm doing so you guys remember i divided my shoulder by two to mark on the shoulder point now i'm going to confirm the measurements here on the armhole and as you can see i am short by measurement so i'm going to go out by 7.5 because that was the measurement i marked on my shoulder 7.5 so now i can connect this to the slope with a straight line And also go in with an horizontal line and that is where the armhole curve will be sitting okay so basic borders this is how you create that so I'll go ahead and label this armhole so you don't get confused now the next one we're going to mark from the starting point we're going to go down and mark the boss point okay so just the way I'm placing my tape from my shoulder down to my nipple point which is my boss point that is the same way I'm placing this from the starting line which is my shoulder line down to mark my boss point okay so it's just putting my measurements for my body I'm putting this down on the pattern paper okay So this is my boss point. The next point we need to mark is the under boss point, okay? And this is the under of your boss, the where your boss stops. That is where you're placing your tape. And I'm going to place my tape from the starting point and mark my under boss point. This is 13.5 inches. So the measurements you need are on the screen so go ahead and take the measurement i am taking on my body take that on your own body and mark this down on your own pattern paper okay now the next is going to be the waist point we're going to go ahead and mark the waist point so go ahead and place the tape from your shoulder to your waist point and mark this down on your pattern paper now my waist point for my shoulder is 16 inches and i'm marking this down on my pattern paper making sure that your tape sits on the starting point which is your shoulder line and you just go down and mark your waist point So I went ahead to take in the lines with my marker because I have confirmed and I am sure that these measurements are correct and I'm just going to go in with the next steps. Now the next step is for me to mark the middle points on the armhole so we can create the curve. And to do this, I'll place my tape like this from the slope down to the armhole point. Fold this into two to know the middle points. Follow along, okay? Just follow the process. And now I have the middle points. I'm just going to mark 0.75 inch in. I'm marking 0.75 in from the middle point. And now I'm going to use my curve ruler to connect this. Before then, I'm going to divide my round bust by 4. I mark this down on the armhole line, okay? I'll divide that by 4. I mark this down on your armhole line like this, just as I am doing. And now get your curve ruler, connect this point like this to that point. Okay, so I'm going to use my curve ruler. If you don't have a curve ruler, just go ahead and just make sure you have something like this. You can use your free hand. Just make sure you have a curve like this. You no, know, trace this out until you have something that looks exactly like this. And for the rest, I'm going to use my straight ruler to connect this to the slope. And we are done with the armhole curve. So this is how you create your armhole curve basically. And yeah. 
Now the next thing I'm going to do is mark the apex line and this is dividing the nipples to nipple by two, okay? And I'm going to be marking that measurement on my under bust line and my waist line, okay? So this is my under bust line and then my waist line. I'm going to divide my nipple to nipple by two and mark this down on those lines. So my nipple to nipple divided by two gives you four and I'm marking four inches here. And I'll mark 4 inches here, which is my underboss and my waist. I'll use my ruler to connect both points together so I can get a straight line. And this is the apex line, okay? Now, I'm going to move to my boss line. I'm going to divide my nipple to nipple again by 2 and mark this down on my boss line. Now, from that point I have on my boss line, I'll come down by 1 inch one inch here this is how it looks on your tape or come down by one inch make sure you sit on the straight line from that point and now what i need to do is take my ruler and connect this with a straight line to meet the under bust okay like this so that straight line we have from the under bust to the waist i'm connecting it to the one inch down from the bust okay and this is my apex line now we're going to be marking the dart, okay? And this is how you take your dart, very simple. On the waistline, I'm going to mark one inch here and one inch on the side, okay? Making it two inches. So I'll mark one inch here and then one inch on the other side. And we're marking this from the apex line, okay? So now I have that one, one inch. I'm going to connect it to this point. So I'll connect and I'll connect. And that is how you mark your dart, okay? Now, most of you that are scared of taking that, it is not hard. This is the waist dart that we are taking right now. And this is how you take your dart. Now, you guys remember I said we are going to be applying the waist dart, the bust dart, and the shoulder dart. This is the waist dart and this is somehow done, okay? We are going to come back to it later. Now, the next we are going to do is we are going to be marking the difference between the under bust and the bust points. I will mark this round the bust apex and I will show you guys what i mean okay so don't get confused i'm going to show you guys practically what i mean i'll place my tape from my bust point down to my under bust point and i'm getting 3.5 inches now that 3.5 inches i'm going to place that on the points i have on my bust point my apex line on my bust point here I'm going to place a measurement on this point here and mark it round. Okay, I'm marking 3.5 inches round. So I'll make sure that my tape does not leave that boss point, that apex line on the boss point. And I'm just going to mark 3.5 inches round. Okay, you guys see what I'm doing. Once I'm done marking it, this is what I have. I have this circle round where I use dotted metal because I'm going to be adjusting this. So let's go ahead and adjust the underboss that, okay? And how do we do this? What we need to do is on the underboss, go to the underboss. We're going to mark half an inch out here and half an inch out here, okay? So we're adjusting the dart on the underboss. So I'm marking half an inch. From this dart leg, I'll go out by half an inch and also on this side. And this time around, I'm going to be using my marker girl because I am so sure that what I'm doing here is correct. So I'll go to this side also, mark half an inch from the dart leg, okay? From the dart leg. And now I'll connect this down to the waist and down to the waist, okay? Connect this line and connect this line. So now we have adjust the underbust dart and now we can connect this to the bust, okay? So we have to bring in the curve ruler now to connect this to this point with the curve and then connect to this point with the curve. Now, if you follow the step the way I am following it, you cannot miss it. So, curve like this, connect to this point, and then use your curve ruler tool to connect to this point. And at this point, I can happily tell you that the waist dart has been adjusted and we are good to go. The next dart we're going to be applying is going to be the bust dart, okay? But before then, let's go ahead and create the center front of this. Now I'm marking out the center front and this is how we mark out the center front. I'm just going to go to the bust line. This is the bust line. I'll mark half an inch upwards from the bust line. 
now if you are on the bigger side you want to mark one inch upwards so that you have coverage but it just depends on what you want okay it depends on the kind of neckline you want so this half an inch here i'm going to mark half an inch in from this point half an inch in I'll use my ruler to connect both points together like this and now I'm gonna bring in my curve ruler and connect this point here to this point okay so see how I place my curve ruler and I'm connecting this from the underboss to the half an inch we have here okay see how my ruler is sitting and I'm just going to go in and connect with the curve and I have created my center front curve and this is it cf center front done okay now there's something i want to explain to you guys so remember that we created a circle round from the bust okay the circle that we created here round now if you want a whole lot of coverage on your cups go ahead and create your darts from that circle okay just create a dart from the circle and you are good but if you don't want that just mark three inches upwards from your bust and then create your dart this is what i'm going to be doing as we go along in this video i'm going to just mark three inches upwards and that is the kind of coverage i want now anyways let's go ahead and mark the shoulder dart and we're going to get back to that later so shoulder dart is the next that we're applying and to do this we're going to find the middle point of the shoulder okay i'll place my tape here this is the shoulder i'll fold my tape into two to get the middle point i'll mark the middle point and now i'll move to my boss point this here this is my boss apex point i'll go up by one inch I'll mark one inch and I'll make sure that this sits on a straight line from the other apex line, okay? So make sure it is straight, okay? I'll mark one inch upwards here. And I'll go ahead and connect this one inch to the middle point here. And this is how we create the shoulder that, okay? So I'll connect this with a straight line. Making sure it stops at the one inch I mark upwards, okay? And this is how it looks now i'm going to mark three inches upward from my bust okay from the apex line on my bust i'll place the tape like this and go up by three inches now this is what i meant by the explanation okay if you want a whole lot of coverage you don't need to mark this all you have to do is follow that curve that you have that circle that you have you go ahead and create your dart there but for me i marked three inches upwards and now i'm going to create my dart here so to take the darts, this is what I'm going to be doing. On this point here, I'm going to mark 0 0.75 on each side of the apex line. So I'll mark 0 0.75 on this side. Let me zoom in a little bit, okay? And then I'll mark 0 0.75 on this side. Now you see where my tape is from the 3 inches I came up by and I'm marking 0 0.75 on each side. So I'm just confirming. To complete my center front cup, I'm going to connect my center front to this dart leg I just took here. I'm going to use my curve ruler and connect this like this. Easy peasy. Okay, now I'm using my marker because girl, I am so sure of what I'm doing. And this is how it looks okay now the next thing i'm going to do is adjust and then i'll connect this i'll connect it back here to the one inch i came up by from the boss okay i'm going to use my cover ruler also to do this i'm just going to connect it to that one inch we came up by from the boss and i'm using my marker because girl i am so sure of what i'm doing and this side is complete. We are done with the center front cup. And let's go ahead and mark the bust that. Now to mark the bust that, I'm going to this place here on the bust. I'm going to come out by one inch. 
So I'll place my tape from the apex point on the bust and mark one inch out with my marker. And then I'll move to the side, my bust side. I'm going to move to my bust side. And you guys remember that I divided my round bust by four and marked this on the armhole. And on that point, I'm just going to come down, like I'm just going to follow that line and come down to the bust and mark one inch. Okay, so I'm making sure it sits straight from that armhole line sit armhole line like this i'm just making sure it sits straight down from there and i'm going down on the bust i'm going down by one inch and that is the that i'm taking on my bust one inch that and then i'll connect this to that one inch i came out by here I also extend this out to the pattern paper because i need to slash this open okay so i need this to just get um this point so i can slash so let's go ahead and slash this open because we need this to open up so that we can create the side cup okay so i'll slash this and i'll use my masking tape to close it up so also slash your waist that open because we need to create the side cup and we need all this to be open okay we need to close some that and you know open some that and we're opening the waist that slash and slash till you get to the boss point and stop okay just stop by quarter an inch before the bust point and i'm just going to close my bust that with my masking tape see the way i'm closing it right i'll use the masking tape to hold this and you see once i close my bust that my waist that opens up more okay and that is what we want okay i want it to open up more so i can create my side cup and it will sit perfectly now that we are done with opening the waist and closing the bust that the next we're going to do is create the side cup and how do we do this the first thing we need to do is find the middle point on the armhole line here so i'm just going to place my tape from this point in and find the middle point fold your tape into two mark out your middle point now from the middle point i'll mark half an inch down from that point okay make sure it sits straight from that point okay half an inch 0 0.5 and what i'll do now is i'll get my curve ruler and connect from my under bust to that point here okay this is how we create the side curve. i'm just going to use my curve ruler and connect to that point i came down by the half an inch and see the way i'm connecting okay and now connect this point now to the dart leg here remember this dart leg 0 0.75 we done for this side we've done for the center front and now we're going to connect the side front and we're connecting like this to this point using the curve ruler and see the way i'm going to place my curve ruler So once i connect this i'm going to extend that half an inch out because we need to mark our measurement just extend this point out okay the half an inch so extend it out like this i'm using my straight ruler for this i'll just extend that point that half an inch extend it out because we're going to mark the measurement there that's our new armhole guys and now we'll connect this to this point here with the curve ruler also now if you're a beginner you can just go ahead and pause this video and watch slowly like pause watch pause watch make sure you understand everything i am doing because they're actually easy steps you just have to know what you're doing and understand the whole process and you're just going to be good at creating a corset pattern for yourself so now that we are done with creating the side and the center front cup let's go ahead and divide the round measurements by four and mark this down on the pattern now the first is going to be the bust i'm going to divide my round bust by four and then i'll mark it down on that new line that i've created okay my round bust divided by four is nine inches i'm going to mark this down here and now i'm going to replace the dots that we have on the cups okay i'm going to replace that dot and i'll place my tape to find out how much i have there and you guys 0 0.75 0 0.75 gives you 1.5 inch and i'm just going to mark that continuous from this point okay so i'm adding 1.5 inch i'm just going to extend this line it's just too small i need enough i need enough because i'm going to be adding one inch allowance also so 1.5 inch 
and now I'll go ahead and add one inch allowance to the pattern. And the next one we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and close the waist that okay and to do this we have to open up the shoulder that now you guys you see what is happening once we are closing one that we need to open another that and we're going to go ahead and close the waist that so we can mark our round under bust divided by four and our round waist so to do this just go ahead and slash open your shoulder that and let's go ahead and do that on my own pattern i'm just going to bring my scissors and open up my shoulder that now if you are still interested in knowing more about this that let me know in the comment section and i'll make a particular video dedicated to that and explain to you to my own knowledge i'll explain to you what i understand about the shoulder that the waist that the bust that and also the armhole that okay now those are the that that i know so once you have your shoulder that open you can close your waist that and it is that simple okay so now i'll use my masking tape to hold down my waist that and like i said once one that is opening one that needs to close and that is what we just did here so now i can comfortably divide my round under bust by four and mark this down okay so i'll divide my round under bust by four mark this down on my under bust line and then i'll also replace that this that two inches that i'll replace it and also add one inch allowance okay so also one inch allowance just as we did on the bust now if you understand what is happening we're always repeating steps okay whatever you do on the bust you do on the under bust and you do on the waist okay so just it is easy like that now i'm connecting from the new armhole line to the under bust and the next is the waist divide the round waist by four let me adjust this i'll divide my round waist by four and i'll mark this down on the waistline And then also go ahead to replace that. Always necessary, replace your that. And also add one inch allowance, just as you did on the rest. Add one inch allowance. And then connect. So you guys, once you're done with these whole steps, you have your corset pattern just go ahead and label out your pattern and you are done you're good okay now for the purpose of what i created i just wanted to know what i have here the measurement i have here because i'm going to use it to create the sleeves but that is actually not really necessary right now i'm just showing you guys how to create a corset now okay you guys see where i'm cutting out if you're about to create a yoke for your corset where i am cutting out is what you use for your yoke okay i'm just going to cut out my side um pattern this is my side pattern in case you're wondering my side cup and my side pattern i'm cutting this out and i'm cutting out the darts okay see the way i'm taking my time to do this forget this video is on fast forward that's why it's going too fast and this is what i have i'm just going to go ahead and label and make um annotations i'll label that this is my center front cup and then this is my side cup and i'm just going to make arrows to indicate where i need to join them when i'm joining you need to make all this labeling so that you know how to join when you're joining so now we are on to creating the back pattern and to do this the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and mark one inch for the zip allowance okay so i'm just marking out one inch and i'll mark this all through the pattern paper from the top to the base one inch And now I'm just going to bring in my side pattern, my front side pattern, and I'll place this on this new pattern paper so I can get the points, okay? So I'm just going to place it like this, making sure that the base is equal, the base of the pattern and the, the base of the new pattern and my front pattern is equal. I'm just going to indicate the side here, and then I'll rule this out. This, is, this has to be equal with the back. The side here has to be equal with my back pattern. So I'm indicating this. And then I'll use my ruler to rule a straight line. I'll bring in the pattern paper again so I can get my underboss points. So still making sure that they are equal. I'm marking out my underboss points. 
and the down here is going to be the waist okay so i'm just indicating my underboss points and you can see that i'm using my side okay not where i have the curve for my cups i'm using the side to do this so i can get like accurate measurements okay so this is my armhole line this is my underboss line and this is my waist line okay now we're going to mark the apex line just as we did on the front pattern the apex line is the nipple to nipple so i'll go ahead and divide my nipple to nipple by two and mark this down after the zip allowance okay after the zip allowance see my tape after the zip allowance i'm going in by four inches also here on the underboss the same thing four inches and here to four inches and they'll connect with a straight line now this is the apex line where we are going to be marking the darts so yeah now the next thing we're going to do is take the darts okay we're going to be taking the waist dart the back waist dart and to do this i'm marking one inch on each side of the apex line one inch so i'll mark one inch here and one inch here I'm just going to bring my ruler and connect this all the way to my armhole line okay i'm just going to connect it straight to my armhole line like this and then to my armhole line like this and now all we have to do is divide round measurements by four now creating your back pattern is like the easiest thing to always do when you're creating something okay back pattern easy that's when it's not stylish at the back it's just very easy to create now i'll divide my round bust by four and mark that on my armhole line and see my tape after the zip line okay so make sure you place your tape after the zip line now if there's any darts to be replaced go ahead and replace if there is no darts, just add your one inch allowance just as you did on the front moving on to the underbust i'll divide my round underbust by four and mark this down on the underbust line and placing my tape after the zip line replace your darts always replace your dart okay so i'll confirm the dart i have and then i'll replace this And also add one inch allowance okay so go ahead and add your one inch allowance don't forget to do that okay am i standing the line because i ran out of lines <laughs> okay so i'm just going to mark my one inch allowance just as i did on the top here and then i'll move to the waist i'll divide my round waist by four and i'll mark that down on the waistline replace my dart and add one inch allowance we just repeated almost everything we did on the front when we're dividing our measurement okay so it's always the same thing you divide by four you add allowance and you replace your dart always do that okay so i'll confirm what i have here two inches i'll replace that and then i'll add my one inch allowance and then i'll connect and that is it for the back pattern like i said creating your back pattern is easy so where there is work is creating your front pattern and once you're able to get your curves you're done okay so once you're able to create the front pattern of your corset to create your back it's actually very easy okay so yeah this is it this is how i was able to create a corset pattern for myself you guys i hope you were able to understand all the process i took please let me know in the comment section if you're a beginner and you understood everything i just did here and you learned something new let me know in the comment section and while you're watching just keep giving this video a thumbs up and then if you're new here just go ahead and subscribe i know you're gonna love it here so yeah go ahead and subscribe and let's sew and make beautiful outfits together okay so right now i'm cutting out my pattern and i'm just going to cut out the dart okay because when i'm joining i want to join and have that sewing at that that side so i'm going to cut out the dart and you can see i already went ahead to label out my pattern center back and side back and you guys this is it for this video i love you guys so much hope you enjoyed all the process let me know in the comment section okay you guys and don't forget to help me share this video i would love to see you guys do that share this video and you guys there's something i want to let you know now when i was making this corset pattern i made it because i was sewing a play suit with it okay but once i was done with the play suit i realized that the down part of the play suit the down 
part i made a little mistake so right now i am not comfortable with sharing the process with you guys even though the people on my whatsapp group thinks that the outcome of the play suit looks very nice i myself i feel like there are actually um, little mistakes that I, I don't think it is okay for me to share the process because it's going to end up making you guys make that same mistake so i'm just going to go ahead and adjust the mistake and then i'll upload a full video on how i created the play suit okay but apart from that the corset pattern is perfect it came out where after sewing and i'm going to be sharing the sewing version with you guys very soon so thank you for watching i'll be seeing you guys on my next video i love you guys so much see you on my next video <laughs> bye bye